Hello students, my name is Prerna and I'm your EVS teacher. And today from your EVS book Enviro, we are going to be reading chapter number 2. So let us start reading this chapter. This is chapter number 2 and the name of the chapter is Parents and Their Young Ones. So let us start reading this chapter. No living being lives forever. For life to go on, each living being be leaves behind one of its own kite. Otherwise, the race would die out. That means a human being would always leave a human being behind them as their uh, generation and so are the animals. Every living being has the ability to reproduce. This process by which new living beings resembling their parents are produced is called as reproduction. So the word as you see is a combination of a prefix re, r, e and then production. It means to produce again. Now we talk about animal and their young ones. So here they have given certain animals. So they have spoken about mammals that give birth to their young ones. So examples given here is uh, you can see a cow, a horse and a dog. Then you have some animals that lay eggs. So you have lizards and crocodiles, you have frogs, you have tortoise, snake, fish. Alright. So either the uh, the creature would lay an egg or either the creature would reproduce or give birth to another creature. Animals that give birth to their babies are called as mammals. The young ones of mammals grow inside their mother's womb. All animals with hair give birth to young ones. Kittens, puppies, calves etc. are born. Kitten is a child of a cat and puppies are of dogs and calves are of cows. Tadpoles, chicks, ducklings etc. hatch from eggs. All animals look after their young ones and take care of them. So this is about animals. Now we are going to talk about us, about human beings. The human baby, it grows inside a mother's womb and then the it is through a tube. Uh, in higher classes, probably we will study more detail about it, that it is through a tube that whatever the mother eats and, you know, the oxygen and whatever is required for that baby to grow, all that is sent through that tube. Then we uh, here talk about the fact that for months after the baby is born, it cannot eat or drink. So how does the baby grow or what helps the baby grow? It is completely dependent on mother's milk. The baby is protected and taken care by the parents. And then, uh, you know, you have some uh, children who are naturally born uh, to, uh, to a family. And they have natural parents, while there are some who are not naturally born and they are probably adopted children. So the most important thing that you need to understand here is that your parents, they love you a lot and you should give the same to them in return. And one should feel blessed to have a family around. And always take care of your family. And also remember that, you know, the uh, animals that you come across, they also have families. So you should not trouble them either. So you should not bully anyone. All right. Thank you so much. Vidya Prakashan Mandir Private.